So here we are looking at KMAG. Uh, I was supposed to do this one yesterday, but I had something pop up. Uh, but look at it today. Uh, what a beast. Uh, opened uh, at the low of the day and closed at the high of the day. So that's about as best uh, of a candle as you can get um, when you open at the very low of the day. So that means you never drop from below where you opened and then you close right at the very top. So, uh, you know, a great looking day and just a good example of you know basically a perfect candle that you would want to see one that opens at the close or one that uh, where it's low is the open and where it's close is the high of the day now I had a few people asking about the volume saying hey you know on a, on a breakout day like this shouldn't you see more volume um, and yes and no uh, no in the sense of we have to keep things in mind that when we were having bigger days like over here you have to remember what the share price was. It was much cheaper than what it is now. Basically, the share price is, you know, over 100% more expensive than what it was down there. You know, down here it was trading, uh, you know, in the triple zero twos, or excuse me, double zero two and double zero three. So now that we're up here, uh, you know, you can't buy as many shares as you could for $100. So that's the uh, one thing to keep in, uh, in mind is that uh, the dollar volume is a key thing to go by, not the amount of shares traded. Um, so that's just, you know kind of the answer to that is don't get too caught up in how big the volume bar is because uh, you have to keep in mind that the shares are getting more expensive you know over here so the vo dollar volume is going to add up a lot quicker so what I want to do is just map out some support resistances and that way everybody's got a good idea of uh, you know what's going on from the charting perspective so the first area of support is actually what I'm going to do is create a zone and the top of the zone is going to be right up here at we'll just call it the James Bond level at 007 so that'll be the top of the support level and then the bottom of it's going to be down here uh, at this other previous high uh, which is valued at uh, 0.0062 so I'll make that green too for support and like I said for argument's sake we'll just call this area right in here the little support zone so anything below here you know hopefully the price can hold now if it doesn't uh, by no means is that the end of the world because you still do have these moving averages that are all sloping upwards uh, but if you were to ask me what would be the ideal area to see the uh, chart hold on any sort of pullback, it would be right down here in this uh, area here that I just mapped out. Now in terms of resistances, this is about as straightforward as it gets. Uh, we have the big bad 200 day something moving average up here valued at 0 .0099. So we'll just call it right up here at a penny. So besides being the 200 day something moving average, it's also the psychological level of a penny. Um, so might be kind of tough to get through, but the good news is the tougher resistance levels are to get through, uh, the, the bigger the explosion when they finally do fall. So, um, you know, we'll see if it can get tested here sometime uh, this week or next. Uh, but, you know, if it doesn't get through right away, uh, you know, this chart has shown that consolidation periods have proven to be very healthy. You can, what is that? One, two, three, four, five. So basically five consolidation periods since mid-February here and each one has resulted in higher highs. So, you know, if the price does pull back, hopefully uh, the people holding this have learned through past history that, uh, you know, as long as support levels hold on, on pullbacks and, you know, nothing to worry about. So if there are any other questions on the chart, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook. With your newsletter subscription, you'll get charts set up, straight ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from big boards on a penny stock. So there's a good variety of something for everybody. It is all free. We've been making some good money together on our alerts. So I'd encourage you to go to the website, sign up, and see what it's all about. One more time, this was KMAG. Thanks for listening.